Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial in the Telegram bot series in Ubuntu. So in this tutorial we'll be talking about the send document method. So far we've seen the send message method which was actually responsible for sending a text response back to the user. In this tutorial we'll be covering the send document which is actually responsible for sending a document as the name suggests. So this is the uh, send document method right here and it has a couple of parameters we have the chat ID as we always do in the uh, in all of the send methods actually and we have the document so we're gonna be interested in this document parameter right here which is actually the file that we're gonna want to send to the user then we have a thumbnail for the file we have a caption and we have a couple of other parameters right here for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna be covering the uh, document and of course the chat ID is attached to all of our responses okay so without further ado let's get started so this is the message class that we've been developing in the past couple of tutorials so what I'm gonna do now is actually define a new function that's gonna send the file, right? So diff underscore send underscore local underscore file. It's gonna take self as a parameter and the path of the file that it's gonna send, right? So I'm gonna name this file underscore path. Okay. So what we're going to do now is actually open the file and then read the bytes of the file. So I'm going to create a new variable that's going to call f is equal to open. And we want to open this file path. So file underscore path. And the mode is going to be rb for reading bytes. What we're going to do now is read the bytes of the file. So I'm going to create a variable that's going to call file underscore byte. It's going to be equal to f dot read. And then we want to close the file, of course, so f dot close. So right now we have the file bytes. We want to construct our response dictionary. So response is going to be equal to dictionary. Okay, we're going to type here document. And then we're going to have a tuple. The first element in the tuple is going to be the file name and the second element is going to be the file bytes. So the file name, we can get the file name from the f variable that we have uh, right here. So f dot n and then the, uh, the bytes of course are stored in file underscore bytes. And the method underscore name it's going to be, of course, send document. And then we want to return the method underscore name and the response as we always do, right? Okay. So uh, right here, I have a folder that is called files and I have a sample dot PDF file right here that we're going to send to the user to demonstrate this send document method. So what we're going to do is actually check right here in the text get response method. If we have a, uh, a message, a sample PDF, then we want to return the send local file method. So what I'm going to do here is type if self dot value, which actually represents the message that the user sent. If self to value it's equal equal to sample dash PDF, for example, then what we're gonna do is return the response of the send local file method, giving it the path of the sample dot PDF file. So return self dot underscore send local file. And we're going to give it the path of the file, which is actually files slash sample dot PDF, right? Okay, so 
what this is going to do is actually whenever the user sends sample PDF, then we're going to send back the file. Okay. One last step needed. We want to go back to server.py file and we want to actually edit the send response method. All right. If we go back to the, uh, to the documentation right here, we can see that this document is of type either string or input file, right? So if this file is actually stored on Telegram servers, then you just want to send the file ID as a string. And we've seen the file ID in the previous videos. So make sure to check it out if you don't know what is this uh, file ID. Or we can send uh, the document as an input file. So let's go and check the input file, right? So this is the input file right here. So it's telling us that this file can be sent as a multi-part for data, which is actually the way that you send files when you post um, a form, for example, on an HTML page, right? So this is what we're going to do. So we want to edit the send response method in order to send the file as a multi part for data. So let's go back to our VS code right here. And what we're going to do is actually check for the method name. If the method name is send document, then we want to edit this request. Otherwise, we're just going to uh, perform the request the same way we did before. So if method underscore name is equal equal to send document, then what we're going to want to do is actually read the document itself, the, the tuple of the file name and the bytes. So document is equal to params dot uh, params of document. right? And then we just want to delete this params from the parameters because we're going to send the document in, uh, in another way. So we're just going to type this del uh, keyword for deleting a, uh, a key in value pair from a dictionary. So del, del params of document. And then we're going to just construct our request just like this. I'm going to copy this, paste it right here, but we're going to add an extra parameter right here, which is files, right? So this files is going to be equal to actually a dictionary. So this dictionary, the key of the dictionary is document and the value is the document variable that we have right here. Okay. Else, we're just going to construct the request as we did, uh, as we always do in our previous tutorials. Right. Okay. So uh, I guess that's it. So let's now run our server. So as always, don't forget to activate your Flask environment in Conda, in case you're using Anaconda just like me. So what we're going to type now is Python server.py. Let's go to our Telegram web right here. So what I'm going to do now is actually just send a text, a normal text message to test the te text response. So I'm going to send, hey, Okay, so the bot replied with hey. Let's now send sample dash PDF to invoke our send local file method. Okay, so this is the sample file right here. So if we if we open this this file, then we can see that this is the sample PDF that we have in the files directory. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.